everyone, I'm Victoria and welcome back to my channel. So today I am reviewing this bad boy and this bad boy. <laughs> so these are the Wonder 2 Perfect Selfie Powder and Kabuki Brush. I saw how much it mattified the faces and things and I just had to try it. So this was my treat for last month, so for July. This is like the one makeup product I actually bought because I'm so low on money right now. <laughs> Payday can't come quick enough. So this was my treat for myself for the month. Before we start, can I just say, look at these nails. A little unicorn on the thumbs, and then just glitter and things on the others. And I just thought I'd show you because I really like them and the unicorns. <laughs> so this product, this product retails at a fairly high price. Of both products off of Amazon. This was $19.95 and this was $7.95. Now both are fairly expensive for what they are. I mean the Kabuki brush is kind of an average price, you know, I, I, I'd say it's an average price actually. I wouldn't say it was very pricey. But the powder however is $19.95 as I said and that is the most I've kind of ever paid for a powder. So I was skeptical. Anyway, I'm just gonna do a quick demonstration for you guys showing you how exactly this powder works. So instantly you can see that my skin is very kind of oily. You can see all of these oil patches like everywhere because I haven't put any powder on at all whatsoever. So this is obviously just showing you the difference between not wearing it and wearing it. So you simply dab it in and blot it on your face. have it I'm not sure how well you can see on camera too much but you can instantly kind of see the oil has gone completely there's not really any redness on this side of my face at all so this kind of my side of my face looks a lot more not flawless but it looks a lot more matte and a lot more healthy whereas the side looks like I've been sweating and do you see what I mean do you see the difference you can't really see it too much in camera but it is just such a difference in person that I just love it. And so now I'm just gonna do the other side just so you can see. As you can see, my face is a lot more photo finished. It's a lot more matte. It doesn't look very oily at all whatsoever. I mean, there's a slight light on my cheeks, but that's because I've got quite prominent cheekbones. So there's not really any oil on my face at all whatsoever, I'd say. So now I'm gonna put some highlighter on and we'll be right back. And we're back. I feel like I've got a bit more of a natural glow going on now. <laughs> Anyway, so this product, as I said, would I say it's worth the hype? I actually would. <laughs> like, I genuinely wouldn't really go out and buy any other, like, powder. I mean, I would go out and buy another loose powder just because sometimes, you know, I like to bake my under eyes. I like to, you know, give it a good old bake. But pressed powder-wise, I genuinely don't think I would use any other powder because it's just mats so much and it makes it last so well. Me and Megan both trialed this at Summer in the City and it kept our makeup on all day, every day, and I use it every day, you know? It's just become part of my routine and I genuinely would recommend it. The brush, however, it does work really well, yes, but I feel like you could use any Kabuki brush. You don't necessarily have to buy their Kabuki brush. I've used it with just my general fluffy powder brushes and it's worked just as well so the powder I'd say is definitely worth the hype. The brush, if you can afford it and you want to get it, I would get it because I feel like it does help but I don't think you'd need it if you just wanted to try the powder, just try the powder, you can use it with any fluffy brush. But it's quite nice just to have a little bit of a collection, you know, <laughs> to have one that matches and says one or two on it. <laughs> So now that that's over with, I just wanted to say to you guys, this does really work. Now, I know I have said this already, but I do find that it mattifies. There's so many powders out there that say they mattify and they do for like an hour and then your face gets oily again. But I feel like this actually stops the oil because it just works so well. So I would highly recommend this. If you're gonna get a pressed powder, get this. I know it is a little bit pricey. I do understand that, especially if you're like me and you have rent and things and you can't really afford to just spend 20 quid on a powder. There's a really low flying helicopter over the beach. Oh dear. I hope they're okay. I've only ever bought a few high-end things and this is kind of bordering high-end. I'm quite excited to try quite a few more of their products actually because I've seen like their eyebrow ones where people literally throw water on them and rub them and they don't come off. I'd be really intrigued to see if they work, so if you would like a video on those, then please let me know down below. 
But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As it, it's been a very brief kind of review, but I find it makes your makeup last all day. It mattifies your face and reflects any light so that you look like you've got a flawless face. Like, what more could you want? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see you again next week with another one. Bye!